We're here at Air Venture Oshkosh, and we're going to have a look at another airplane that we've seen before. We saw it at Sun and Fun, but it wasn't quite the way it looks today. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking with Nick Otterback of Arian Aircraft. I did say that right. You don't say Orion, do you? Arian it's Aircraft. Arian Aircraft. So we'll give you their web address at the end of the video. But right now, Nick, tell me a little bit about your project here. Now, before I let you do that, the LS-1, we see this pretty airplane off to our side here. We've seen it before. We've done videos. We've flown it before. We love it. But it's an LSA, and you have the Jabiru engine on it. Here we got kind of a big boy airplane. This guy's yeah. standing tall and got a different power plant well, up front. Well, if so. you remember, a long time ago, we were, you know, we started as a kit manufacturer. We wanted to go as fast as we possibly could. Light Sport came around. We really poured our efforts into that. Uh, I wanted to go back to the how fast can we make it go thing. And we've already made the Jabiru go as fast as we could, so we said, let's put something else up front. Uh, this particular airplane has a XP320 superior air parts like so okay. we're running 160 horsepower. 160 horsepower. Now I'm going to recall for uh, our viewers that uh, you and I flew in one of the earlier airplanes that was a kit and I remember seeing some, I forgot the number I saw, but that one even went pretty fast. The, the cleaned up Jabiru kits will do 160 to 170 miles an hour. Uh, if they're well built and flat out, they'll do a lot more than that. So we think we can do better than that with 160 horsepower. So what's your what's your guess? And we understand you're not done yet. You got a lot of work to go yet. But Boy, I hate the what do you think? Could you hit 200? Flat out, I think we will hit that. <laughs> uh, cruising, if we do 180, I'll be very very happy. Oh, that's a, so. that's an impressive speed. So, well, why don't we look under the cowl here, Absolutely. Nick, and see this engine you're talking about? Absolutely. I, I just want to point one thing out. Just to take a good picture of the cowling before we oh, yeah. uh, take it off. Oh yeah. Because this you didn't have when we saw you. In Did Florida. not have it in Florida. This is a brand new cowling. Just okay, came out of the Okay. Let's have a look at this here. Last... I'm gonna walk in front of the camera. We but... actually came up and fitted it here at the show. So. Oh, did you really? So, yeah. Came off our. <laughs> well, yeah. Your uh, glass guy, I think, works up here, doesn't he? Uh, Forty miles away. So, so. Uh, you you brought the airplane home to the glass daddy. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Very, very much. Well, from up here, it's got a really cool shape to it. If you can bring your camera over here, kind of the way it bulges out around the cylinders there. It's got a really manly look to it, all right, and I like it. Plus, nice big air cool inlets. Yeah, it's uh, got the inlets here, there's the carburetor inlet down here, and it's, you know, form follows function, it's a very large engine, so we had to kind of fit around it without being too, uh, too ugly. Well, your execution of it works for me. I mean, it looks just sort of gnarly and, Thank you very and much. strong. So let's pull the cowling Absolutely. off, Nick, and have a look inside here. Can I help you at all? Yep, just pick it up straight on up. There you go. Okay, now we're looking at the power plant inside under the cowling. Again, what is it? This is this engine is from Superior Air Parts. It's called their XP320. And this particular model is 160 horsepower. Okay, so 320 stands for the cubic volume. Yes, yep. And the power is obvious. And uh, you've had to create your own mount to put this in Oh, absolutely, in here. absolutely. Spent about three weeks. Uh, doing the design work. All on the, the white engine. parts back here is yep. what you created yeah, for the, the mount. The, the, the dynafocal mount here. Uh, spent about three weeks doing the design work, the drawing work on it, and then our welding shop, who does all of our other components, uh, built the mount for us. I see. Okay. Um, the mount. Let me touch on dynafocal for a moment. Yes, sir. Uh, some people, most probably a lot of our viewers know what that means, but there's a, a motor mount up here, one over here, and a couple down on the bottom. And what they all do is they, they all got an angle to them. And the purpose is to bring it to the center of mass of the engine, I believe. Yes. And I don't understand the technical reasons, but I know that's the drill is to focus on the center and that does the best job. One, one of the main technical reasons is the engine feels smoother on the airframe. With a, a, a conical mount, which is just straight pins, with the engine shaking on there, it can kind of move the pins and everything like that. Okay. You feel a little more vibration in the cockpit. So with everything focused on the center of gravity of the engine, it doesn't move as much. That makes sense. So you created this dynafocal mount with yep. the big rubber uh, shock absorbers in there. Yeah, what else did you have to do? Uh, well, that was about it. We did do that. We did change our firewall. It's okay. very hard to see. Um, we have a large uh, cutaway. Uh, uh, in, um, oh yeah, I can see behind it will, there. Pocket, if you will, for the uh, for the mags and for the oil. Pool yeah, on the back of the engine like here, these yep. things. Uh huh. Yeah, so we did have to create that as well. Uh, in our, the Jabber is 180 pounds installed. This is 280 pounds installed. Okay, so, so quite a bit of difference. The engine actually sits 10 inches further aft. Further the aft, okay. In the, in the cowling than the, the Jabber. Yeah, the Jabber was kind of right in, in that well, cowling. Yeah, it was that, further forward. The, the, too, the prop it? flange, you think about the prop flange on this is about 32 inches. It was actually okay. 43 on the Jabber. Oh, wow, okay. So amongst other things, it ends up going about 10 inches. Further. I see, so, okay, yeah. Quite so a bit of difference, difference But what that does for us is our net CG change is only about an inch further forward. Huh? Um, the other things we're doing on here as we move forward, uh, you know, you think prop change, prop, what are you going to yeah. use? You have new airframe, new engine combination, we don't know what we're going to do. Uh, talking to uh, Sensenic Propeller, who 
we deal with exclusively on the late sport Ah, uh, you're already a Sensen acquirer then. Says, okay. what do we do? And they said, well, we just came out with this brand new propeller. It is designed for the 0320 on the RV series aircraft. They said, that's what you want to do. Perfect. So it's ground adjustable, completely ground adjustable. So when, if we don't like what we have, we can, we can play with it a little bit. So the, the spacer, the spinner, and the prop all come from Sensenic as a bolt-on unit. Well, I'm going to add one more thing. The engine, the airframe, the prop, and probably most of the other bits and pieces all come from the USA. Everything about This is a Every... totally USA. You guys designed it. You're American. Yes. All the parts are U.S. Anything else about the engine you can tell us, um, Nick? Not, not a whole lot about the engine, except uh, you know we're excited to go fly it. Um, the one thing that does lead into, which we've had many people ask about, is what about a light homing and light sport? You know, now, we've, we've done the Jabiru a lot. We've done that. The CG works out, the cowling, the mounts, and everything work out perfect for an O233 or an IO233. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly this, prove this, ah. do all the performance data on this, um, and then the, probably the next one you'll see will be an O233. Okay, so that, that one could then, could you get it within the yes. weights and the speeds and all the other yes, parameters? Yes, we, we know we can. We'll, we'll, you do builder assist? Yeah, we'll do builder assist. Um, and where's that all take place? Shelbyville, Tennessee, where we're at, uh, we run a builder assist program. Um, I got two guys that work with you until you're done with your airplane. Um, and you can buy them as you go. You know, time Come down, do some work, go home, that yep. kind of thing. Yeah, and it usually takes a couple of weeks of your time spread out over several months to finish your More information about the airplane, uh, give us a website. We'll put it up on the screen for the spelling. But where do we go to find out more about the new product? You go to flylightning.net or uh, get on Flylightning and then like us on Facebook. So okay. Go Facebook, page, Facebook a connection lot of good as stuff well. On there. Excellent. And then this particular airplane on the website? Uh, There's information. some information on there, yes, a lot on Facebook. Okay, it seems great. to be a good media outlet for okay, us. Okay, so. great. So check out both references. You can find more about Arian Aircraft, about all their range of aircraft pilot reports, and lots about other airplanes as well on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us today.